Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to update your PlayStation to a new system software update. It's pretty too easy to do. It works on all the versions on PlayStation 4. So let's begin. The first thing what you want to do is just go to profile. And once you click on profile, you will see this screen right here. Update the system software to use network features. If there are any application in use, select update later and then save your progress in the application. If you are like playing a game, just save it and then you can just update it. What you want to do is update now. And like you see, an update file has been downloaded, version 7.00. You want to click on next. The system software update, uh, PlayStation will be updated. Update. And like you see guys, my PlayStation is restarting. It's normal. By the way guys, if you didn't like or subscribe, you can do it right now. Thanks. You don't need to Follow on your PlayStation, it just will do it automatically. So, guys, we will skip forward. So, once that's done, you will get a black screen like this. It will just turn off. Then what you want to do once it turns off, just keep waiting till it turns on again. It will just automatically restart again. So what does rebuilding that and ways mean? It means that it's gonna delete some corrupted files, like uh, corrupted game data, something like that. Just preventing to crash your PlayStation 4. And like you see guys, I'm online. Press the PS button to activate your controller. And now, like you see guys, I'm online. So guys, if you experience more problems, what you also can do is go to the community and you can join the two communities, add or fix, it will help you with these type of problems. Kiri is just my main, you can ask here too. And guys, thanks for watching. If you experience more problems, just comment down below or go to the community and ask 